One thing that I want to make perfectly clear, I don't have a lot of experience doing this. The only experience I have in soldering is pretty much making this laser. So it's probably going to be laughable for most people who know what they're doing in that field. I leave it to you to leave all the comments and the links of how to do it better. So all of that being said, this is how I make my laser. So what you will need to build the laser is a cable stripper, an on off switch, a battery holder, a heat shrink, a glue gun, soldering iron, solder, make sure that the solder matches the temperature of the soldering iron, solder flux, preferably lead free, steel wool, thermal tape or heat tape, heat sinks, voltage regulators, 5 milliwatts, 650 nanometer laser with a refractive lens, a pair of latex gloves, and an ohm resistor. The first thing you want to do is to connect the voltage regulator with the heat sink. And the way you do that is you simply glue them with the thermal tape. You cut a little piece on top of it, and then you remove the thermal tape, which can be a little tricky as you can see. Better to do it than gloves. There we go. Got it going. You connect, and you are set. Then what you want to do next is to split this portion of the fork of the voltage regulator on this side to the other side you gotta be gentle not to break it and you should get something like this now what we will do is we're gonna connect this piece that we just prepared the ohm resistor the laser the battery pack and the on off switch and I'm gonna show you how to do it step by step first thing we have to expose the cables in order to do that we use the cable stripper right here what you usually want to do with uh, new items is to clip the ending of the item because it, they kind of have like those invisible caps so you're just gonna use the front end of the cable stripper to cut it this will make it easier to actually strip the cables and then you find the right size usually for these it's 16 18 you basically just clip it like that and not with full force but you basically gently cuff it and you pull and that should do the trick we're gonna repeat that for all the ends of all the cables right there the battery holder for the switch the cables are a little thicker so we're gonna use the bigger size 14 to 16 is where we want it now let's go connect all of those the way we're gonna connect them by the way we're gonna place this on a holder, which by the way, I didn't mention that you also need, but either you have another person helping you or you need some kind of a holder that will hold all those components in place while you're soldering them. So you're gonna place the voltage regulator attached to the heat sink this way. The ohm resistor is gonna be connected this way to the middle. And this is gonna be connected together with the red cable from the laser on the left side to this left arm right here. And then the other side of the ohm resistor is going to be by itself with the middle portion of the voltage regulator. And the red cable from the batteries is going to be attached to the left side of the voltage regulator. This way. Then, after we're done with all of that, we're going to connect the switch just in between the black cable of the batteries and the black cable of the laser. Let's do it all together step by step. Okay, so the components you need out here are the voltage regulator, ohm resistor, the laser, and the battery pack. And of course you need the soldering iron, the solder and the solder flux, all the things you're gonna need in order to actually solder the thing. Everything we've prepared, a lighter, cable stripper, heat shrink, 
and the on and off switch. So what we're gonna want to do, first of all, twist all the loose ends of all the components so they're nice and tight together. We wanna, we wanna gauge about the distance that this is gonna be covering, the connection between those two cables, and then you cut it right there, go around, just loop it around, and we're gonna do the same with this side, tuck it all the way through. And now, when I turn this on, you should see the laser turn on, which it does, success. So now, what we do is we just seal everything. There you go, and now you place it about the middle. If you have a torch lighter, it's much better, it's much easier, you just go quickly like that, but if you have a regular lighter, that's fine. Turn it on, do this, and it should shrink around it. There you go, and then you kind of cap it a little bit. Do the same thing on the other side. It saves us the work of soldering one more thing. There we go, there you go. We have the circuit ready, and let's see if the thing still works. And turn it on. And now all we got left is to connect it to the tripod. First of all, connect the glue gun, plug it in. It's gonna take it about five minutes. In the meanwhile, we can open our tripod. Simple tripod with an iPhone connection. iPhone holder, make sure it's tight. Now we're gonna bring our circuit. Make sure you're gonna cut the cables from the smaller battery holder. I forgot to mention that I also like to use electric tape because it has an elasticity to it that allows me to wrap around the circuit and enclose it. The way we're gonna go about it is first thing, we're going to make sure that we can position the battery safely, like this, with the cable sticking back, and then the laser to the right. We're gonna add the extra battery holder that will give us a little bit more pressure. Now we can basically secure the switch on the right hand side right here. We're gonna do it with the glue gun. And you stick it in there. And you wanna hold for as long as it can. This should be pretty good. We're gonna do a similar thing to the circuit right here. A little bit of ground right there. So now that I have my position, put this on all that. How this looks when we move. It's okay, and it's okay. So I think it holds pretty well. We can unplug the glue gun for now. And then uh, we're gonna use the electric tape. There we go. And we're gonna start gluing this thing in, holding it in place. And we wanna start without pressing too much on the circuit. Don't wanna bend it too much. Good, we got most of it. Yeah, so you see what happens is that this cable kind of bends, we don't want that. So we might wanna have to keep it like that. Gonna cut this. Drum rolls. Oh yes, it is working. We have a laser. As you can see, the laser is posi positioned like this. Make sure that it's sticking out so none of this portion is blocking the laser from the side. And all I did is that I put that the portion of the circuit in the back, glued it also with glue gun, just like I did with the switch on the side. And then I wrapped it like this and made sure that all the cables don't interrupt with each other's motion. And I also made sure that whatever I do here, if I go up and down now, uh, see, I have a limited motion, but I still have some motion. One last thing I wanna point out, please remember, whatever you do, you don't wanna use more than five milliwatts for the laser because, well, because it's gonna be way too strong and whatever light is gonna be bouncing back is actually gonna be too much. So no more than five milliwatts, especially because you're gonna be planning on sitting in front of the door for quite some time and exploring. You don't want too much power because it might actually damage your retina. So please, please, please be careful. And unfortunately you can't use laser goggles because you won't see the laser. You're actually supposed to see the light. Just don't have it so strong. I can't emphasize this enough. So thank you for watching. I hope everybody are doing great. Sending love to everybody. Peace.